So hey, hello everybody, it's me Sever Soldier, and in today's video I'm going to show you the ransomware called Hexa. This ransomware was created by Heizen, and those of you who are not familiar with this type of malware, basically it encrypts files on the drive. After that, the ransomware usually demands the user to buy the special key, which can decrypt all affected files. More complex ransomwares can even spread itself through the internet connection, for example via email services. One of the infamous ransomwares was WannaCry, which was spreading via Eternal Blue Explorer and infected over 300,000 devices within a few days. But of course, Hexa ransomware was built for educational and entertainment purposes only, so it will only affect the device which is running this malware. Before the execution of this malware, let me tell you some facts about Hexa. This malware was created in a C-sharp programming language. It targets only newer Windows operating systems such as Windows 8, Windows 10 and Windows 11. It also has some destructive capabilities such as infecting logon UI for the encryption uses AES algorithm. Well, that's pretty much it. There is very little know about the Hexa because the creator didn't explain a lot in the readme file. And let me tell you something about the readme file, guys. If you are willing to give me a malware sample for this malware review, then I would appreciate if you like spend more time writing the readme file because it can like help me to make a better video and it can like help me to make the video much faster. So please next time, Python, create a much better readme file so I can like show more about this malware and let me tell you guys for this malware review I'm actually more prepared than usual I've noticed that we can actually decompile this ransomware so later on we will see if the encrypted files can be decrypted or not but first let's test it out without any changes and as always guys you should watch this video till the end because it is going to be very interesting so for today's video I've chosen again Windows 11 and even with the different wallpaper because you know I would like to make each video original in some way so that's why we have a different wallpaper here uh, let me know what you think about this wallpaper in the comments in my opinion it's actually good but previous one was better that one with blue roses of course but hey it doesn't matter this video is not about the wallpaper this video is about the ransomware and uh, you are probably thinking why am i calling this malware hexa that's because i don't want to read the wall name of this malware like you will not convince me to read the full name of this malware because this is very very long ass name for the malware so let me drag this malware on my desktop oh my god and can you see this can you see this icon oh, oh my god like this actually looks pretty scary like not gonna lie guys okay so we can get rid of this zip file we don't need this actually anymore so let me see what's inside the properties i don't think there's anything important here well the size is around one megabyte which is like not that much but also like I think this malware has also some resources so that's why the file size is uh, slightly bigger than usual because you know most of the malwares are very tiny I think we can actually give it a shot and see what this malware can do but before I'm gonna test this malware I'm gonna just disable my share folder without further ado let's go straight into the malware let's see what will happen on this computer Oh my god, I didn't expect this. It is saying something like uh, your files have been encrypted and like that's it, like that's it from this ransomware. I, I think this is not a ransomware, this is just this is just a screen locker because you know, I can access to my desktop, not even my screen. Okay, so let me get rid of this malware by clicking F4, I think. It seems that even our F4 doesn't work properly. Not at all. Oh, but Windows button works. I think I broke this malware. Oh, Task Manager works. It doesn't work. Oh, it actually works. So Task Manager works. Okay, but okay, I, I have no access to my, my desktop. Uh, I'm actually worried about restarting my computer because the author told me that if you're gonna restart the computer then after restart the logon UI is gonna be all written which I really don't want to do that I would like to see if any of my files have been encrypted okay guys so let me restart my computer let's see if it's actually possible as you can see it's restarting without any problems usually the malware is causing the blue screen of death if you try to like restart the computer it seems that we are all right as you can see it works perfectly fine so logon UI have not been changed at all which is great i think my explorer ha have been like blocked what the hell we are cooked guys i think we are cooked i literally can't access to my desktop anymore i would like to see what happened to my files what 
the fuck is this, man? Oh my god. Like, this is actually scary, like, not gonna lie. What it says? You have been infected with the Hexa ransomware. Okay, I'm gonna read it. Please run the decryptor to decrypt your files. And as you can see, it actually, like, managed to encrypt the files, except the malware itself. And my computer management have also been encrypted, which is a shame. Oh my god, I lost my, some of my files. And the pictures also have been affected. What about the music? Okay, as well. Let's launch the decryptor. What happened? Your files have been encrypted by the Hexa ransomware. Can I get my files? Yes, but first you have to pay 0.1 Bitcoin in the following address. Oh, really? What? I cannot access this website, like for some reasons it doesn't work. Should it even work? I don't know, I don't understand. What happens if I don't pay? You only have one chance. Once you restart, you will get a blue screen of death and your system is unusable. And your system is unusable. <laughs> Um, well, great, great grammar, great, great English grammar, by the way. Your system will also not be recoverable. Okay, that sounds pretty bad. Check amount of Bitcoin paid. You're broke! Wait, what? Can I type anything? Can I type at least one word? Guys, uh, I think I, I, I can't even like type anything. My files are gone forever. Oh, I understand. Oh, it makes sense right now. So apparently only numbers can be typed here. So let me try to decrypt this file, but <laughs> unfortunately the key is wrong. Well, yeah, the key is incorrect. So I guess my files are gone forever. And yeah, that's pretty much it from this decryptor, I guess. I can use my computer pretty much normally. And the task manager for some reasons works. That's very strange because, you know, most of the malwares just disable this task manager. Okay, so let me try to access to some other files. I'm wondering if any of these files are working. And as you can see, the command prompt works perfectly fine. Some others can like disable the command prompt as well. Let me access to the registry editor. And he, my registry editor works also perfectly fine. Uh, what What is this exe file? What the hell is this? Overwritten by... Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, I think I'm stuck here. Hello? No, no, I'm stuck here. Okay, I got guys, I think we, we are cooked. Like, I think after we stored, we're gonna experience some very dirty things. Let me try to restart the computer. Maybe it will work. I think the logon UI will be infected, which will lead to some problems if it's gonna happen, of course. And what? The logon UI have not been encrypted. So my files have been encrypted. Yeah, that's that's probably it. Okay, but we are not done yet, of course. Let me try to change the wallpaper, and see if it's actually possible. And as you can see, it actually is possible. Guys, I think this malware is not working properly because I should lose some of my system files. Apparently, the malware has some issues with that. I don't know what's actually wrong. Okay guys, so that will be it for this pure demonstration and now I would like to test if this malware can run in the safe mode. The only way to access to the safe mode is to like restart the computer multiple times. I'm curious if, the, if this malware can like run in the safe mode as well. And let me choose the F4 which is gonna enable the safe mode. And as you can see the malware is not showing. The malware is actually not running. That's because this malware can't run in the safe mode. Well, you can run this malware in the safe mode, but it will not launch itself at the startup. Okay, so that will be it for this ransomware. And now I'm gonna actually show you the source code of this ransomware. That's because the creator of this ransomware didn't even try to secure this file from any decompiling software. There you are. As you can see, I can easily like decompile the source code. I can look what's inside this exe application. And here there is this encrypt file thing. It will generate the key and it will like generate it by this algorithm. Here is the question guys. Is it possible to decrypt the files after being infected with this ransomware? The answer is no and here's why. This is gonna be randomly generated which means that there is no way to like decrypt these files. If the victim even like look at the source code the victim would not be able to like figure it out the password okay or the key. And if you don't believe me I actually managed to like copy this code into my application so let's see what will happen so in order to like uh, show you the actual string behind the key we need to convert it to the 64 string so if i'm gonna run this program then it's gonna display the key but the problem with this algorithm is that if i run it again then the key has been changed the key is totally different and also the iv is different 
So that's how this uh, ransomware works. And that will be it for this video. So guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and write a comment. Thank you and goodbye.